Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to on how channel if you don't know my name is Anas I'm working for you so now you know if you have any questions any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me I don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you and in this video I will show you how to resize the buttons on your Shopify store and this trick will work for every Shopify team and I did test it on multiple teams including the down team which is the one I'm going to do the, the, the demonstration on and I did test it on refresh team as well as tense team because that's the only or the most popular ones right now I don't have time to test it on every Shopify store but however as I said in the beginning of the video I'm working for you if it didn't work for you or you have any issues or anything like that drop me a comment below I will be happy to help you out and as I said in this video I will show you how to resize the buttons in any Shopify team for your Shopify store and I mean both buttons buy it now button as well as the add to cart button and again we will do that without using any Shopify apps or anything like that we will use our own script and very short code that will do the trick of resizing the buttons to any size you want and you can actually customize this to any size you want not just like a random size that will not be fitted for your Shopify store you can play around with the numbers until you find the exact set or the exact size that you wanted for the product page and as I said that will be for both actually add to cart button as well as the buy it now button and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see by the way this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on including this one that we will do right now for example the video banner right here as well the transparent header all the things in the Shopify store I did them in tutorials for example even removing or changing actually the cart icon to any icon you want as well as the hover color as well as the hover effect for the menu without having to click on it and even the small little things that you cannot do anywhere on the team customizer for example removing the underline once you hover over the menu it does show an underline beneath each menu I did show how to remove that again and the only video on YouTube that's showing you that actually but the best video I did made in my opinion is this one right here which is showing the discount percentage instead of sale badge in here so if you did add a discount to a product it will show a badge in here and there is sale word in it actually I did make even another video where you can change that sale to any text you want discounted time offer discounted price or limited time offer or any text or call to action you want however in my one of my previous videos I did show how to set a percentage based on the actual discount and this will be calculated automatically you don't have to set each product with each percentage for example this one is only discounted for two dollars as you can see and the discount for it is only four percent off and this one in here uh, is more than $30 that was discounted from the original price and the discount for it is 36% off and as I said this will be calculated automatically you don't have actually to set each percentage for each product all you have to do is set the discount and the script will do the trick so if you are interested in how to add that make sure to check out my channel I did make that and the code is completely free everything or every trick I did share on my channel I do provide the code for it in the description box completely free without having to pay for it or anything like that the only thing I'm asking for is just a like please just like the banner says in here so that's the only thing I'm asking for it will take you like a millisecond to click on it and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys so I would really appreciate it and let's just quit talking and let's just get to it for this video and show you actually how to resize the buttons on your Shopify store so let's just access the product page from here for example let's just go for this one and we will do the trick right here which is resizing this buttons right here and both add to cart as well as the buy it now button so we will stay on this page we will keep it open then when we will do the trick and come back in here and reload the page and see the changes so obviously the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard after that click on the online store from the left menu then click on the three dots or left of customize and click on edit code right here and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and as I said this trick will work for every Shopify team and the next thing you're going to do is access team.liquid right here and you will see it as the first one if you cannot find it in here simply use the search bar and search for it and its name as I said is team.liquid 
So simply click on it and it will show you a lot of uh, liquid files in here or liquid code, sorry. And you no worries, you don't have to edit any complicated code or anything like that. The only thing you're going to do or the next thing you're going to do is find forward slash head. And you can use the search right here. For example, if you are on Mac, I already see it right now. I don't have to do that, but I'm going to show you that. For example, this one right here, what is that? Uh, forward slash uh, head right here. So if you cannot find it, simply uh, use Control F. If you are Windows, if you are Mac like me, click on Command F and it will show you this prompt at the bottom of the page right here and simply type in forward slash head and hit enter and it will highlight it on the code for you as you can see right now. So I already found it as I said. So once you did, the next thing you're going to do is as always scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. And as I said, you don't have to pay for it or anything like that. It's completely free. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see a very short code as you can see. And this little code will do the trick of resizing the buttons on your Shopify store. So obviously the next thing you're going to do is select the whole code in here and make sure to include every small detail in here. After that right click, oops, let me do that again and right click and copy. After you did copy the code, get back to the code editor right here and simply paste it above forward slash head not below it but before it and above it so make sure you do paste it above forward slash head otherwise it will not work so let's just paste it in here and if you notice there is an option here called max dot with two dots 50 percent so this 50 percent is actually the size for the product 50 percent means half right 100 uh, percent is 100 percent is full right so in my case, I'm going to keep it right now as 50% and we will see what that will do. So let's just click on the save button right here. And after that, we'll get back to product page and reload the page and see what the 50% will do. So let's just reload the page right now. And here we go. Check out what it does. So it's basically resizing the buttons to 50%. If I did set it to 100% again, let me do that again. So right now it's 100%. Let's just reload the page and get back in here. Uh, reload the page. I click on save. Sorry. Let's just reload the page. And here we go. It did take the whole screen in here as you can see. So obviously play around with the percentage until you get the exact size you want. For example, in my case, I'm going to keep it as uh, 75. Let me remove the zero. 75. 75% if I hit save and get back in here. Reload the page. And I think this is the perfect size. However, the bigger, the better, because that's obviously what the customers need to click on in order to order the product from your store, obviously. But for now, that's how you resize buttons on your Shopify store easily without using any apps or anything like that. And as I said, if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.